Hello and welcome back to a brand new episode of Super Mario Galaxy and this is the last Super Mario Galaxy episode and we are at the Dreadnought Galaxy, the Dreadnought Purple Coin level. If I had a dollar for every time I had to replay this level, yeah I'd have a lot of money. It's just fail after fail. Mm-hmm. Now, this is the last episode. Mm-hmm. Now, important. This, this is very important. Today is June 10th, and my good friend here on YouTube, the YouTuber that I'm good friends with, Turtle Watcher One. Today is his birthday, so I wanted to give him a very big shout out and happy birthday, man! Hope you have an awesome day. And if you haven't and you're watching this, please go ahead and subscribe to him since it is his birthday. So, Turtle Watcher One, happy birthday to you! Just hope you have an awesome day. So happy birthday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just wanted to give him a very special shout out. Now, I struggled with this level way too much. It took me multiple tries. Yeah, you can't duck. Don't duck while dodging the animal. Just wait. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is the part where it kind of gets tricky. We only have 20 more purple coins left. Now I will have to do a bunch of explanation on what happens. Now, earlier today, well, er when I recorded this yesterday, it was June 9th. What happened was I was at 99 purple coins and that... The one laser shooter guy got me, and then I died. And I had to replay the whole level all over again. That thing was just trolling me so bad. Hey, hey, hey. Problem? There was a mini launch star. Wait a minute. Really? You did it. You really worked for it. You think? So then you collect your power star, and we only have... Two more stars left. So now at the Melty Molten Galaxy, red hot purple coins. This level did take some time. Yeah, it's only on the main planet. This is kind of looked like the Beach Bowl Galaxy. Now we're at 119 stars. I decided to leave, make this the last episode. Yeah, so there's a little, little life mushroom. Now. Yeah, yeah, it's not too, too bad, this level. Yeah, I try not to fall in the lava, but I just did. Mm-hmm. Now what else? So tomorrow, where I go to school, tomorrow's the very last day of school. We have a half day. Oh, keep in mind, I, rec this, I recorded this commentary on June 10th. Yeah, it's 2.56 in the afternoon. I just got home from school. Yeah, at the high school. Well, I'm at the middle school in my school district. Well, at the high school they had a half day due to them taking finals. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I go total YOLO here. And the lava just gives you a nice free opening. Mm-hmm. So we have a half day tomorrow. And so it's the last day. I'm like practically thinking about school ending. I just have the same song stuck in my head. Well, if you know me, it's a DDR song. So you've probably never heard of it. Yeah, I doubt any of you have heard it. Yeah, it's... Do I miss? Well, that's not the song's name. Now, the song name is called Graduation. It's by the all-girls band, Before You. Yeah, 
it was a band. Yeah, Konami created the band themselves. Yeah, back when the VR Fist Mix came out, like, 15 years ago. Oh, I should have edited that out, but... And I was under the limit anyway. So I'm fine. So when DDR Fist Mix came out, it was a very big deal because, like... Yeah, there was auditions to create a new all-girl band. So there were a bunch of auditions for that. While at the same time, players could create their own DDR song, a, a new song remix. And that song would later become Paranoia Eternal. And what happened was, the person who designed the step chart, well, sadly for them, yeah, that step chart was only used in one mix. Yeah, so when DDR, so when DDR 7's mix, or Extreme, came out, Max 2, well, Max 2 is 7's mix, well, yeah, when 6 mix came out, they got, like, rid of every, almost every song. In the arcade and Japanese home PS2 versions. But in the American PS2 release for DDR Max, they had some old songs. But anyway. So it's brief. Yeah, so, yeah, they had to change up the step chart due to it being very horrible. Look, it's not the worst step chart. I've seen it. There are worse step charts out there. I'll just tell you that much. So it's brief for you. It was an all-girls band, but... It didn't really go too well because... Like, four years after it was formed, a few members left. Then, a few years after that, more members left. And now they no longer exist. In fact, our website is no longer around. If you try to go on their website, it'll be like, The link cannot be found. Shame, huh? So yeah, I'm just checking for purple coin. So, with Speed For You, the all-girls band, and when DDR Extreme came out in the arcades, there's the first song in the song list was a song called Graduation. And whenever it's like school's ending, I keep thinking of that one well-known song. Yeah, if you want to hear it, just type in on YouTube, DDR Graduation by Speed For You. It's kind of a nice sounding song, if you ask me. Now... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's very nice sounding. But it's a shame that it got removed. It got removed when DDRX came out. It got removed. So that was pretty much a big, great shame. But it... Then they brought it back. Mm-hmm. But really... Yeah, it's a nice sounding song. Mario, really? Stupid plumber. Yeah, I really didn't care about editing. Now for my next LP. Yeah, I'm going back to the original style like I did for Super Mario 64DS and, um, and Super Mario Bros. 2. It's a 3DS game. Yeah, I might have revealed it, but everybody who wants my wants to see my fifth LP, Five Nights at Freddy's. In fact, one of my friends in art class today, he was like, yo, Mike, I want to challenge you to do play Five Nights at Freddy's. And I'm like, well, I'm doing it for my fifth LP, so your challenge has practically been accepted. Mm-hmm. Now, I really just wish I edited a lot more out. But, eh. As the one where internet character, the one rage face goes, or internet comic person, it's close enough! Yeah, there's gonna be lava. And the last purple coin is in the lava, so you should expect yourself to get burnt. Like I did right there. Yeah, there are some levels in the game where you can get more than a hundred. No, I didn't mean to do that! <laughs> No, Mario, don't get glued to it. So now, I'm just going to have to explain everything to you. So after you get the 120th star in Super Mario Galaxy, but for me, it's the star. But after you they get all 15 purple coin missions done in the 15 main galaxies, 
At the Comet Observatory, Rosalina will say, We have enough power stars to travel to a new world, but first we must help out your special one. Meaning that you have to beat Bowser and rescue Peach again, even though it already happened. Even though Peach is somehow always in peril, even after you save her. So if you look at, we're all done, and if you look at the star list, we have practically every star, but then there's one more. So now I'm just going to go back into my other file, where it's completed. So then you get to go to the Grand Final Galaxy. You beat Bowser again. And then what do you have to do? You have to get all 120 stars as Luigi. And we don't need to see that. So even after... So to get things straight, you get all 120... Get one, you get a bunch of stars. Beat Bowser. Get all 15 purple coin levels. Beat Bowser again. Rescue Peach again, play the whole entire game as Luigi, go through the whole process, and then you unlock this level. <sighs> it's a very stressful process, but look, I did it this way just to make things more clear. Yeah, I'll type some more about it in the description. Yeah, I'm not beating the Luigi side. Okay, well, you're famous Mario. Can I have your autograph? Yes, sir, but I don't have a pen and paper. Uh. Speaking of pens, once on this homework thing, yeah, there was like, wait, wait, hey, it's me, yeah, me, Billboard, it's such a cool place, if only I weren't the sign, <laughs> and you can't jump off there, so, mm hmm we were learning about probability, it's like, and it was, Mario has seven pens, four of them are red, two of them are green, and one of them is blue, and like, you would have to guess, which one? If we put, if Mario put all these pens in a bag, which color would he most likely be choosing to pick out? But when I saw the part with where it said Mario, I just thought of the video game character. In fact, that's what everybody thinks of when we see the name Mario. Mario. Even with Luigi. Yeah, like the water ice company. That's what every kid thinks of. Now this is very annoying. It's like we could just make all the perp coins easy in a line, but no, nah, let's just put one up there. To bug gamers. So now there's just a few more coins. And it's those star bunnies and... I'm not going to talk to her. And they're not saying that one annoying phrase. Say boy yoing one more time. And I'm going to freak out and just go throw a total rage quit. So then that final coin. And then... That final star! It's all coming up to this moment. And then Mail Toad has a message for us. Yahoo! Mario, give the congratulations for letter for you. Do you want it? I sent that letter to the way message board, so look for it! Hi! And so then, that ends our Super Mario Galaxy LP. But wait, there's still more. So back at my Wii menu. Yeah, let's just wait for the message. So then, the letter. It's gonna load. That's not the letter. It's just, that's how long I spent recording. Yeah playing the game. I did have to eat dinner halfway between. We, we, dear Mike, thank you. We'd like to send, so then there's a special picture. So just pause to read the message. We'd like to sing a, we're going to take a the very end. Well, thanks for watching. So this is pretty much our, the end of the LP end. Well, I'll see you in the next LP. Well, bye.